Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. This is going to be an interesting log about less explored beach destinations of India. Today we are traveling to Devbagh Beach which is in Maharashtra. Devbagh is at a distance of 659 kilometers from Bangalore. If you want to avoid Goa crowd and enjoy similar vibes as Goa, then consider visiting Devbagh as it is a very peaceful and not at all crowded place. I can definitely say Devbagh is in nature's cradle. It is a narrow stretch of land where one side river flows and the other side is a ocean. Coming on to how to reach this beach. You can reach Devbagh driving on your own transport. If you are choosing bus, there are several state government buses which takes you to Sindhudurg. From Sindhudurg you can take private buses or cabs to Devbagh. If you choose train the nearest train station is Kudal from Kudal you can take private buses or cabs to Devbagh through air the nearest airport is Goa or Belgaum We went on our private vehicle and we went through Amboli Ghat On the way we found a view point from where you can view the beauty of western ghats we will provide the google map location in the description box below In a few kilometers from the Amboli Ghat viewpoint you will find the famous Amboli Falls. This falls will be full during monsoon and the view will be at its best. We reached Devbagh and there are many budgeted homestays or resorts and most of them are sea facing resorts and homestays. We stayed in Mahalakshmi resort and the stay was pleasant. We will provide the Google map location in the description box below. The first day we went on a motor boat ride which costed us some 2000 rupees per boat. It is worth as they will show us some 5 to 6 spots during the ride. The first spot was Golden Rocks. During sunrise, when the sun rays light these hills, it appears bright golden in color. Hence it has got the name as Golden Rocks.
If you are going on this ride early morning till 12 o'clock, there are chances you can view the dolphins. The next spot was Nuti Fort. It's a fort built in the midst of ocean. The next spot is Delta Point, where you can view the river merging with ocean, which forms a long wave kind of structure over the sea. The next spot is Seagull's Viewpoint. There were hundreds of seagull birds at the island and we spent some amazing time playing in water. The last point in the list is Water Sports Point. You can spend some time playing different water games like banana boat, motor bike, floating sofa and other games. However, we didn't choose to play here. The next day we planned water sports in a different place. It's also a best place to view sunset. The next morning, we had breakfast at our resort and spent some time at the sea. If you have chosen to stay near the resort, you can view dolphins sitting in our resort's balcony. We were lucky to spot some dolphins in the morning. From Devbag, we went to Malvan Beach. Malvan is at a distance of 12 km from Devbag. The most famous attraction here is Water Sports and Sindhu Durg Fort. We chose to play all water games here and the package costed 1200 per person which included motor boat, banana boat, sofa ride and parachute ride. They offer scuba diving as well at 1500 rupees package. When you are here, you should definitely enjoy these rides.
we started back home and i definitely suggest to visit this place this is very peaceful hope you like this vlog please hit like and subscribe to our channel if you like our work to support us we will be back soon with another interesting place to explore thanks for watching and see you soon